In this video, we will review how to define and configure terminals that should be accessible as workstations within the Jonas Club Management mobile point-of-sale app. Multiple devices can be linked to the same workstation. Therefore, you do not need to create a terminal ID for each device, as each terminal setup represents the sales area. To start, let's determine which terminals will be flagged for the app by navigating to Point of Sale, System Administration, and Terminal Setup. Select the applicable terminal ID and click the Mobile POS button. Enable the active flag if this terminal will be used for the staff app. Set the what price to use dropdown to either member or retail, i.e. regular pricing. And decide whether or not you want to display taxes in the item price. This flag may be handy for workstations such as the beverage cart so that menu items display the full price, taxes included. Once done, click OK and OK to save and repeat this setup for all the terminal IDs that should be active for the app. Next, we will want to determine which partitions, sales areas, and terminals will be accessible as workstations on the app. This can be done by navigating to Point of Sale, System Setup, and set up mobile POS. Select set up new mobile POS to complete a new setup or select an existing setup to review or make edits to it. Select the applicable partition and sales area. In the member charge tab, flag allow for member charge settlements if applicable. Then enter a chit description, assign a GL account, and specify a settlement reporting code for member charge settlements. In the cash tab, Flag Allow Cash Settlements, if applicable, then enter a chit description, assign a GL account, assign a billing code, and specify a settlement reporting code. In the Extra Gratuity tab, flag Allow Extra Gratuities, which is gratuities outside of what the tax code is calculating, if applicable. Then enter a chit description, assign a GL account, assign a billing code, and specify a tax code. Lastly, click the Linked Terminals button. Here we can add and review terminals that have been flagged for use on the app and which are currently posting to the partition and sales area selected. To add a new terminal, click the Link a Terminal button. Select the applicable terminal. Then click the Mobile POS button. These are the same settings we just looked at in the Terminal Setup program, so you can make the adjustments accordingly. Then click OK to link the terminal. To edit a terminal, click on the terminal row and make your adjustments accordingly. Don't forget to click OK to save. Once you've reviewed your linked terminals, click Exit and OK to save. Repeat this setup for all the partitions, sales areas, and terminals that should be accessible as workstations from the app. Note that there is a Copy To button. So if the GLs Billing codes and options are all the same, or at least very similar. You can copy from one sales area to others, then make any adjustments that are needed before saving. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more how-to videos, and don't forget to subscribe.